Uh, presentation of high school football. One man going nowhere is Montague Crudell. As he gets taken down there by number 80, Jason Scarter. The assistants for Western Hills, Gene Morin and Ben Dodson, Mike Arnett, Steve Pakluta, Gerald Batty, Kenny Kershaw, Sean Reed, and Brent Parker. The wind's picked up a little bit. Expected it to die down, perhaps, but uh, not getting any better and getting a little cooler up here. Yes, it is at 442. Jesse Haynes, lots of room to run on the left side and breaks a couple of tackles and gets into the secondary. Breaks another tackle. And gets all the way for a touchdown. Broke all kinds of tackle. Terrence Brown was able to be the last man to get him and keeping it on the ground, not trying to run the score up, but Jesse Haynes comes back with a got a 40 plus South yard run. If Southwest is perhaps tired, the defense trying to run down Haynes couldn't get a hand on him, and no one apparently able to go at 100% speed. Jesse Haynes, a 47 yard run, score at 36 to 9. Looper's kick is up, it's good. And with 4.29 left to play in the football game and in Southwest's final game of the year, it's the Cougars 37, the Southwest Rebels 9. You're watching City Video 45's high school football game of the week on the Salmon's cable system. Western Hills just going uh, again with the ground game, trying to eat time off the clock, giving it to Haynes, breaks two, three, four, five tackles and into the end zone. Eddie, for the touchdown. Eddie Cook had a shot at him. Terrence Brown had a shot in the secondary. He got by those two. And now Southwest is up by, or Southwest is down by a whole bunch, 37 to 9. I don't want to say Southwest wasn't making